The chamfer command, setting the chamfer angle. We can use the angle option as another alternative to setting the chamfer distance. It'll ask us to set a chamfer distance, so we'll measure back from the corner and make a mark, and then it'll ask us for an angle, and we'll put it a certain angle on it. So I'm gonna go up and use this chamfer command. Then I'll come down and choose the angle option. Will ask me for the chamfer length. I'm going to say measure back from this corner, say one inch, let's say. I'll go 1.0, hit enter. It'll ask for the angle from the first line. I'm going to use 30 degrees and I'll hit enter. So now select the first line. So I'm going to pick this line. This is the one we're going to measure back on. And then we're going to pick the second line. Notice from this corner here, it went back one inch, then it drew a 30 degree angle. All right, let's do that again. We're going to go up to the chamfer command. We're going to go to the angle option, and I'll keep it at one inch. And this time I'll say, let's go at, say, let's go at 45 degrees. Now, I'll pick the top line first. And I'll pick the second line, and it went one inch back, and it measured at a 45 degree angle. All right, let's do one more. And this time we're going to go up, do the chamfer command. We're going to choose the angle option. We'll pick one inch. This time we'll do 60 degrees and I'm going to pick the horizontal line first, the vertical line second. You can see it started at this uh, intersection, went back one inch, and then it drew it at a 60 degree angle. So using the angle option we have another way of setting a chamfer, uh, uh, setting up our chamfer distances.